This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show, and I just want to tell you that there's a, you know a lot of great things about the raw food diet and lifestyle, uh, but there's some things that people aren't admitting. I have a, a guest coming to stay with us at our raw food retreat here in South Florida, and he's been a raw foodist for a very time, and he's been blessed not to have been stricken with any illnesses, deficiencies, or anything. He's doing the raw food diet, and it's working for him, and that's wonderful. However, what I want to tell you is uh, what something that a lot of people into the raw food movement don't talk about, or a lot of people the health don't talk about. There's more than one way to be healthy, and there's more than one thing that causes our sicknesses, our diseases, our stress levels to rise, and so on. And it's not all about diet. There's more to it. So what I want to tell everybody out there is, as great as eating a raw food diet is, as wonderful as eating a vegetarian diet is, as wonderful as being involved in health is, I want to let everyone know that the raw food diet is not a panacea. And you can take this as a warning, folks. I have a good friend who's been eating a raw food diet, uh, what I believe is the healthiest way possible to eat a raw food diet, according mostly to the Hippocrates Health Institute way of doing things with, with not too much of anything, not too much fat, not too much sugar, eating a good amount of leafy green vegetables, but still succumb to certain issues of health. Now take it, many of these issues started, uh, or issues of disease, let me go back and correct that, but many of these issues started uh, prior to this person eating a raw food diet, but most people that get into a raw food diet get into a raw food diet because they had prior issues to begin with. What I am saying is, I believe the best diet we should be eating to make it possible for diseases or illnesses not to reoccur is eating a diet that includes a tremendous amount of raw, ripe, fresh, organic fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. But I want us to be realistic and, and, and understand that it's not a panacea. Just because we're eating a great diet does not mean our illnesses cannot reoccur and come back again. Just because we're eating a great diet does not mean we're not able to get new illnesses. Yes, the raw food diet, I believe, will put us in the best chance, but that's not a reason to believe that we're still uh, going to avoid these other things. And now, am I repeating myself? Am I saying the same thing over and over again? Yes, I am, because there are many people, teachers in the raw food di world now, telling people that, oh, if you eat a raw food diet, you can overcome every disease out there, and and you never have to worry about disease again for the rest of your life. I would love to say that was true, but I'm giving you the truth. It's probably going to be you know, the best thing you can do, but there's more to it than just that. First, you gotta look about disease and what actually causes it, and you gotta identify what created your issue, and you have to eliminate that. So if you have something like diabetes from eating too much sugar, and then you're gonna roughly die and eat too much sugar, you're not going to really have, see too much of an improvement. If you have heart disease from eating too much fat and then you're going to raw food diet and eat too much fat, you're not going to have too much of an improvement. But what if you eat a raw food diet, you haven't had any previous issues, you're eating a raw food diet of what you consider the best way to eat it, cannot make sure that you're not going to have any issues. I've been around this a long time, folks. I've been eating a raw food diet for a good amount of time and interviewed people that have been eating a raw food diet even longer. You know, as a matter of fact, one of my favorite health authors who I interviewed very early on in my raw food lifestyle, he wrote wonderful books and he was very active. He used to run a lot. He was a jogger. He did ultra marathons. He was very much into yoga and other types of exercises. He ate a raw food diet and, and wrote wonderful books. He died of cancer. You know, I know I, I, I could just go on and on of all these tragedies. Uh, and you know, I just I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea about this. The raw food diet is great, but it's not a panacea. And a lot of the raw food teachers out there won't tell you that. So if you're going to do a raw food diet, do it with wisdom. You know, but that's not an excuse not to get a checkup. You know, every so and then from the from the medical community just to make sure everything's going okay. And what I mean by that, getting a blood test, making sure things are looking good. We can't only go by how we feel because we might feel great, but I know people that smoke crack and feel great. You know, because of caffeine and other stimulants, we could feel wonderful, but still be in things that are unhealthy. 
Many times, you know, our health doesn't change in the way we feel until we're in the latest stages of disease. So do something earlier so we don't have to worry about the latest stages of disease. So what the raw food diet, you know, a lot of people don't talk about, there it is. And I myself have a, a, a story I'll be sharing with you in the future, you know, about disease and health and healing because I've overcome inflammatory bowel disease on a raw food diet, uh, which is not an easy thing to do. Uh, I've actually met people that said they'd rather suffer from cancer than inflammatory bowel disease. That's how serious it is. But within each disease, there are different stages to disease as well. So we got to keep that in mind. All I'm saying is, is there are some blessed people who have been eating a raw food diet for a very long time that, that have been successful. They've remained disease-free. They remain sickness-free. They feel wonderful. But that is not the standard. The, the fact is, most people that eat a raw food diet, they don't stand it long. Uh, the fact is, most people that eat a raw food diet, uh, they might have an initial improvement in their health, but in the long run, because something they're not doing correctly or something they haven't eliminated that created their problem at the beginning, to begin with, uh, they're not seeing the long-term results that you hear so many people talk about. And, you know, the reality is, though, we can change that. The reality is the raw food diet might not be a cure for every disease out there, but, you know, it'll most likely improve any condition out there. So, you know, reality is it's the, it's the safest way and the best thing you can do if you have the understanding and the discipline to do it. Now, does somebody have to eat 100% raw? Absolutely not. You can eat a good amount of raw foods in your diet, at least 75%, and if you're eating the cooked food that's not too processed, you can do okay. Uh, do you have to be a vegan? I believe, especially for somebody with a disease, uh, it's one of the best ways to go, but I certainly met people that weren't vegetarians and still showed improvement because they increased the amount of raw foods in their diet. And uh, you know, whether it's heart disease, cancer, weight issues, whatever it is, we don't just have to look at the type of food we're eating, but just as much as how much and the time we're eating. I wrote a book called The Daylight Diet, which talks about this. And I believe two of the major causes of disease today is overeating and undersleeping, and one leads to the other. But also, eating at the wrong time. Eating late at night, especially right before going to sleep, is not healthy. So even if you're eating a raw food diet, eating late at night and eating right before going to sleep is not going to put you in the greatest health long term. You know, and I, there's just so many people I know who are eating a raw food diet these days. And I just, just as I'm sure I'm being watched by other people, I don't even have to watch them. I see what's going on. And... I just see. I mean, I, I'm guilty of it myself. Of I've been pretty good with not eating late, but not getting to sleep at the right time in the past and seeing how it affected my, my health and so on. So there you have it, folks. Put your comments and questions below the video. And uh, the raw food diet, there it is. It's the reality and the facts. And, you know, I pray that you all try the raw food diet out there if you're listening to this because it does work. I've met a lot of people, including myself, that have overcome diseases by going on a raw vegan diet. Some of them long term have been successful, some have not, but there are other factors other than just diet. And if you're one of those people that have had long term success on a raw food diet, please contact me. I'd love to interview for the Raw Life Health Show. And even if you're one of the people that haven't been able to be successful long term or even short term on a raw food diet. Contact me as well because I think we can learn a lot from people like you as well. So I'm just trying to keep it real because that's how we roll here at the Real Life Health Show. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. Until then, everybody, have a great day and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.